On today's Maker Mashup, we're gonna prepare an SKR mainboard for our 3D printer. So today we're gonna to be setting up this SKR main board for a 3D printer. Surprisingly enough, they included a rubber duck, which was the first time I've ever received one of these inside these boxes. And I've set a number of these up before. The SKR is a pretty inexpensive board. This one is roughly about $20. And we're gonna be setting it up today with some 2208 drivers as well. So this video is going to be focusing specifically specifically on setting this main board up for the 3D printer builds that we do here specifically. So if you've caught our video on how to set up and build your own 3D printer, this is how to get the main board set up. So our first step is to take these stepper drivers, which are the TMC 2208s, and there are three little pads on these that they have to be soldered together, and then that will place this driver into what's called UART mode. I'm not gonna go into depth about that, but the way that we're hooking this board up is going to be UART mode for these drivers. So we're gonna need to get these soldered first. So let's get to work. So you can see here in the middle, there's three pads. We need to short circuit all three of those in order to put this into UART mode. So I drop a small little piece of wire there, and then I use the soldering iron to bridge across all three, and it just takes a little bit of solder, and it will bridge across all of those, and that's all there is to it. So you'll need to repeat this for each one of these TMC stepper drivers. Okay, so now that we have the drivers soldered and those are ready to go, the next step is to pull a bunch of the jumpers off of this board. We need to set this up for UART mode and most of these jumpers are not required. So we're gonna pull a bunch of them off and I'll leave a photo so that way you can see exactly what jumpers need to be left on the board. So you can pause the video when we get to that step and then you can pull the jumpers off of your board. Now remember, we're setting this up for UART mode and the 2208 specifically. So let's get to pulling these jumpers off. So we've removed all of the jumpers except for that center power jumper. That one needs to stay there. And then what we're gonna do is use all of the red jumpers to put those on each one of these pins that say UART. It's a little hard to read here, but each one of these says UART. And because we have four steppers, we're gonna go ahead and use four jumpers. Once we have those jumpers in place, we're gonna go ahead and insert each one of the stepper drivers that we've soldered previously. And then once we've got those in place, we're gonna peel off each one of the heat sinks and place that in the center of each one. Okay, so this is where you're gonna to wanna to pause the video and use this reference photo to make your SKR board look just like this one. Okay, so we're ready with the board now. The stepper drivers have been set up. The board is now configured. The next step is to get some firmware on it. And we've gone ahead and made this a little bit easier for you. What we're going to do is put some links down in the description on the repository for the Maker's Mashup C201. So that's the LayerFuse C201 printer. And what we're going to do is make it so you can just get the Marlin code from there. We update it frequently, so you can pull either just the configuration files or you can pull it all through the steps that we're going to highlight here today. Once you get that on there, then the next step is to go ahead and burn the firmware and then install the board itself into your printer. So if you're following along with our build of the C201, your next step would be step five, which is the electronics version. If you're building another printer on your own, you can take at this point, you'll be able to take your board and install it into your 3D printer. Now, something to note as part of this entire process, we're gonna be supplying some configuration values that work in the printer that we're building. You really need to understand how the configuration values work in Marlin in order to make sure that your board is compatible with it. So 
uh, take some time, watch some other YouTube videos. There's a lot of people out there that have some really, really great videos on how to configure Marlin. We're not gonna cover that here. Remember, our goal is to get this board set up so you can finish building your 3D printer. So we're gonna need a couple of pieces of software to get started. The first is gonna be Git. You're gonna need this to download the code from the repository. And once you get this downloaded and installed, we're gonna move on to the next piece of software that you're gonna need. And that is gonna be Platform IO. You're gonna to need to download this as well. And once you get that installed, then you'll be ready to move on to the next step, which is downloading the source code from our repository and then compiling it. Links are in the description for the repository here. And once you get to the repository, you're just gonna to wanna to clone it and you will need git installed. So you just copy the clone command there and then you're just gonna paste this into a command window in Windows and that's going to clone the repository and get the source code with the configuration file already set up onto your machine. And again, this is set up for the C201. So if you're going to be doing this for a different printer, you'll have to modify the configuration.h yourself for your specific printer. To install the firmware, we're going to temporarily set our power jumper here to the USB power and then you'll be able to plug this board directly into your PC. It's important that you switch this back at the end, so I'll remind you at the end of the video. Once you have everything installed, you're gonna to wanna to open up the Atom editor, which has Platform IO in it, and then click on the Open Project. Then you're gonna to wanna to navigate to where you downloaded the code with Git. Yeah, we're gonna go into our demo project here, to the layer fused and then we're going to open that folder up so once you click that it's going to open the folder now that we have our project open i'm going to expand the marlin folder here which is where you'll be able to see your configuration.h you shouldn't need any changes to the configuration.h except for perhaps changing the uuid inside there uh, that way you could give your machine its own unique identifier. But otherwise, if the board is now plugged in, all that you have to do is click the arrow on the left-hand side at the top and it will compile the firmware. And then once it starts that compile process and completes, it will upload the firmware directly to the board. You could confirm that your firmware is updated. You should see a firmware.cur, that's your existing firmware, and then a firmware.bin. Once the board is reset, it will remove the firmware.bin and it will install your firmware into firmware.cur. Now that you have your firmware uploaded, you're going to want to install this board into your printer. Make sure you switch back the setting from 5 volt to back to the internal power. So at this point, you should have a working main board. We've got the drivers that were set up. We configured the board by pulling the appropriate jumpers and we've installed Marlin. So at this point, you should have a board that you can put into your 3D printer and then you can start tweaking the configuration values and getting the printer tune the way that you want it for your installation. If you're watching our videos, now would be a good time to go on to the electronic step in which we place this board into the printer and get that set up so we can run our first test print. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you mash that like button and let us know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you run into any problems with this, Remember, you can always go to our Discord channel where it's an, a makerspace, virtual makerspace that you can chat with other makers and find out all sorts of answers to common questions on problems that you might be having with this board or a lot of other 3D printer boards. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.